Hi everyone, I am Arielle Lim and this is Arielle Lim Yoga. So you know who I am, you know what we're doing. Thank you for joining me on the mat today for lower body stretch yoga. In today's practice, we are going to release and relieve some tension, some stress, and some stiffness, soreness in the lower body. While a lot of the poses that we're going to do today incorporate many parts of our body, we're gonna to try to bring our awareness to the lower part and really work those muscles to relieve some tension, stress, and anything that no longer serves us that we need to just let go. So we're gonna to start today's practice at the back of our mat in a child's pose. So we'll bring those big toes to touch, extend our knees out as wide as our mat or as wide as is comfortable and begin to reach forward with the hands, bringing the chest and the forehead down to the mat. As we try to keep our hips and our thighs heavy here, pressing our glutes and our hips towards our heels, feeling that gorgeous stretch in the inner thighs, in the hips. Take a nice deep breath, filling both sides of the torso and exhaling to release and really try to bring your body towards the heels here to get the most benefit out of this child's pose. Take a nice deep breath and exhale, settling into our practice, waking up those hips. Take another nice deep inhale here and exhale. Beautiful. We'll begin to come up to a tabletop position, bringing the wrists beneath the shoulders, the knees beneath the hips. We'll hug those ribs in so we're not collapsing here. We have a nice flat back, staying nice and active in this tabletop position. And then we're gonna step back with the right foot, flexing the foot so the toes are down. And we're gonna move as if we're pressing our heel into a wall actually have a wall behind me. So if you have that available, you can do that as well. Pressing that heel back, feeling that nice stretch along the back of the legs. So the calf muscles, the hamstrings, the glutes, and just press it out towards that wall or behind you as if you were pressing into a wall. As you're keeping your shoulders in place, kind of reaching forward with your crown. So there's a little bit of resistance to feel a really gorgeous stretch doing that. Take a nice deep inhale here and exhale. We'll bring our right knee back down underneath the hip and we'll step back with the left foot. Same deal here. If you have the wall behind you, you can press that heel into a wall or you can just press it back as if there was a wall behind you using your own body for resistance there. Breathing down through the leg. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. Beautiful. We'll bring the left knee back down to the mat, tuck our toes under, lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Pedal it out here, really exaggerating the way you walk your dog today. Feeling the stretch along the calf muscles as you lower one heel, keeping the other raised, and then switching sides. Just notice the sensations in the back of the legs here. To feel really nice, especially if you've been seated or maybe if you've been moving. So really, it's a great stretch for everybody. And then we'll bring those big toes to touch. Take a nice deep inhale, extending that right leg up and back. And then we'll bend off at the knee and begin to do some circles in one direction. Nice hip circles here, opening up those hips. Remembering to breathe. And then we'll take our circle in the other direction. 
couple more. You got this. And then we'll kick that right foot up and back. And then step between the hands, lower the left knee to the mat, the top of the left foot to the mat. We'll keep our right knee over the right ankle. And then we'll come up, arms reaching up towards the sky for a nice low lunge. Inhale to lift up a little bit, reaching towards the ceiling. And exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper into your hips here, the right hip. Feeling a nice stretch along the left hip, the psoas here. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, we'll release the hands to frame that front foot. And then we'll straighten the leg back, lift the toes as if we're about to point the toes towards our face for a half split. We'll inhale for a nice straight flat back and exhale. Maybe you fold. You don't have to completely straighten this knee. You can have a bend in it if you need to. You'll still get the benefits from the stretch. Take a nice deep inhale here. And exhale, we'll come back to our low lunge, frame the front foot, tuck the left toes in and step up, forward fold. We'll inhale for a half lift, flat back. And exhale to fold. And then we'll step back, downward facing dog. Once more, you can pedal it out if you'd like to. Maybe you move a little bit faster this time. Notice if that changes the stretch in any way. Maybe it doesn't. And then we'll bring those big toes to touch. And on an inhale, extend that left leg up and back. And then bend that knee off for a split dog. Doing hip circles in one direction. Trying not to collapse into your right shoulder here, try to keep the shoulders in line. And then we'll take it in another direction. Couple more. Don't forget to breathe here. And then we'll kick that left foot up and back and then step between the hands, lowering the right knee and the top of the right foot to the mat, keeping the left knee over the left ankle. And then we'll lift those arms up for our low lunge. On an inhale, maybe we'll lengthen the spine just a little bit further, reaching up a little bit higher. And exhale, maybe sink a little deeper into this stretch. Really feeling it and enjoying it along that right hip crease. And then the left hip. Inhale. And exhale to frame that front foot. And then we'll straighten the leg, bringing the toes as if they're pointing towards the face for a half split. We'll inhale to find length along our spine. And exhale, maybe we fold. Taking a couple breaths here in our half split. Enjoying that stretch behind the knee. And the hamstring and the calf muscles. Inhale. And exhale. We'll come forward back to our low lunge. Tuck the toes under and step up for a forward fold. Inhale to a half lift. Flat back. Hands on the shins, at the ankles, the mat. Maybe the thighs. Then we'll exhale back to our fold and step back to a downward facing dog. Maybe this time you enjoy a moment of stillness in your down dog, just for a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Really trying to press those heels towards the ground. They don't have to touch the ground, just the intention. And then we'll bring those big toes to touch. Extend the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. And then we'll step our right foot outside of the right hand. Lower the left knee down to the mat at the top of the left foot. And lift our chest up for our lizard posture. 
if you want a little more in your lizard, you might turn that right foot over onto its side, opening the hip a little bit further. Remembering to breathe into that hip crease. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale. Surrender into this stretch. This is one of my favorite hip openers here. And there's so many ways to modify too. You can put blocks down underneath your hands to bring the ground up closer to you. You can bring your foot closer to the middle if having it towards the edge of the mat is a little too much. You can tuck in the left toes and lift your knee off the mat if you want a little bit more. So lots of options here. Take another nice deep breath. And exhale. From here, if you'd like a little bit more, you can lift that left foot up off the floor and we're going to leave our left hand underneath our shoulder here, reaching back with our right hand towards either the inside or the outside of that left foot, opening across the chest for a bound lizard. In this stretch, the closer you pull your heel towards your glutes, the more of a stretch you're going to feel along that left psoas. So if you would like a little bit more of a stretch there, it's a kind of a difficult area to stretch. You can pull that foot a little bit closer towards your glutes. If that's a little too intense, don't do that. Keep your foot a little bit further back, or maybe you don't even do this move at all. So pick your journey here. And remember, as always, to breathe. Take a nice deep inhale, breathing into those hip creases. And exhale, surrendering into this beautiful stretch. Beautiful, gently lower that left foot to the mat. We'll bring our right foot to the center of the mat. Frame the right foot with our hands. And then we'll begin to straighten this right leg, pointing the toes towards our face for another half split. See if this feels any different now that we've warmed up a little bit more in our practice. Take a nice deep inhale. Maybe you find length in the spine. And exhale to fold. Maybe you come a little bit deeper into this half split. Really noticing the sensations in the back of the leg here. Beautiful. Then we'll roll forward into our low lunge, lift that left toes up off the mat, lift our leg, and step back to a downward facing dog. So I'm pedaling it out here, but you can feel free to enjoy a moment of stillness or walk your dog at whatever pace feels good to your legs. And then we'll bring those big toes to touch, extending the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. And then we'll set that left foot outside of the left hand, lower the right knee and the top of the right foot down to our mat for our lizard posture on this side. Catching my breath. From here, if you want a little bit more, you can turn that left foot over onto its side, bringing it closer to the edge of your mat. Find the variation here that works for you. As I said before, you can put blocks underneath your hands to bring the ground up to you. You can lift the right knee up off the ground if you need a little bit more of an active lizard here. And take nice deep breaths, keeping the chest open. Breathing into that left hip here. Nice deep inhale and exhale, letting go. Our hips carry a lot of emotional tension and stress. So if you're feeling a little bit emotional in these types of postures, it's all good. You can acknowledge the feelings and then as you exhale, let them go. This is a safe space for you. 
all good, my friend. From here, if you want a little bit more, you can lift that right foot up off the ground. Keep your right hand underneath your right shoulder and reach back with the left for our bound lizard on this side. Bringing the heel in as close as feels good so you get that nice stretch along the psoas on the right side. Take a nice deep breath, keeping the chest open. Maybe you gaze up towards the sky. And exhale. Finding a little more depth in this stretch. Take another nice deep inhale. Whatever variation of lizard you're in. And exhale. If you're in a bound lizard, slowly release that right foot to the mat. We'll wiggle this left foot closer towards the center of the mat, frame the left foot, and come back for a half split. Lifting the toes up. Taking a nice deep inhale, finding length along the spine, and exhale to fold. I can really feel the stretch now behind my knee and in my hamstring. It feels wonderful. Take another nice deep inhale here. And exhale, we'll roll forward into our low lunge. Tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee up off the mat, and we'll step up to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, whichever version feels good to you today. We'll exhale to fold. And then we'll start to move our feet so they're a little more than hip distance apart. We'll bring our hands together in prayer. Tuck our right elbow into the right knee, our left elbow into the left knee or thigh, and begin to lower our hips down for a yogi squat, trying to keep our feet flat on the mat. It's okay if they, the toes point a little bit outward, but if you can try to keep them pointing forward, that's wonderful. Sit up nice and tall here, pressing the elbows into the thighs or the knees, keeping a nice straight back, maybe you rock side to side. Remembering to breathe as you breathe, breathe up through the feet, up through the spine, through the top of the head and exhale to let go. To release anything you don't need back down into your mat. One more nice big inhale here in our yogi squat. Then exhale. We'll begin to lower our sits bones to the mat. Extend our legs out in front of us. Sitting up nice and tall. Maybe you press your palms down into the mat, feeling a nice stretch in the legs, up through the shoulders for a moment. lovely and then we'll bring our right foot so that our bottom of our foot the sole of our foot is pressing into our left thigh you can be open at a little bit of an angle a little bit more straight whatever feels good to you today and when you do this i want you to pull your femur so the big giant bone in your thigh a little bit in towards that hip socket right so we have that nice that nice connection here We'll lift our arms up towards the sky. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale to fold over this left leg, letting the hands rest wherever they land. If you need to have a bend in that knee, by all means do so. You can always put a block underneath your knee as well. Take another nice deep inhale. Maybe you find a little bit of length in the spine and then exhale a little more depth in your stretch. If you want a little bit more in the calf muscle, you can grab the outside of your foot and gently pull that leg back a little, just gently. We're not here to hurt ourselves, We're just adding a little bit of resistance to deepen the stretch. Take another nice deep inhale here in your fold. And exhale. We'll slowly roll our way back up, and then we'll take a quick twist to the right, bringing the right fingertips behind our back, grabbing the right knee, sitting up nice and tall, 
and exhale to twist, maybe gazing past that right shoulder. We'll come back to center, extend the right leg back out, and then we'll bring that left sole of the foot to the inside of the right thigh, keeping our right leg either straight or a little bit at an angle, whatever feels good to you today. And then we'll lift our arms up and overhead, reaching up towards the sky. And then we'll begin to fold, letting the hands rest wherever feels good. Take a nice deep inhale, finding a little extra space along the spinal column. And exhale to surrender and release. Again, if you pull that right femur into the hip socket a little bit, grabbing a hold of your right foot if you can, gently pulling it towards you, you might feel a little bit more of a stretch. Just an option, something to play around with. One great thing about yoga practice is that it is a practice. So you just learn about your body and about yourself on the mat while enjoying the benefits of the stretch. Take another nice deep inhale and exhale. Lovely, we'll slowly roll back up and we'll take that quick twist to the left, grabbing the left knee with the right hand or the left thigh, planting the left fingertips behind our low back, sitting up nice and tall. And exhale to twist, maybe gazing over that left shoulder. Beautiful. We'll come back to center. Extend the legs out, scoot the booty towards the heels, and lower ourselves all the way down to our backs. Maybe we give ourselves a nice big hug around the shins, rocking side to side, giving our lower back a massage. Now we're going to bring the soles of our feet together for a Baddha Konasana or reclined bound angle pose. The closer your heels are towards your glutes in this stretch, the more intense it'll be. So if you want something a little bit more intense, bring the heels closer to your glutes. If you need something a little more gentle, bring the feet closer towards the top of your mat. So find your, find your position here and just let the knees gently fall open. Your legs are opening like a book here. And let gravity do its job. The hands can rest gently on the belly. If this is a lot for you, you can place pillows or blocks underneath the knees. And just breathe here, breathing into those hips, those thighs. Exhaling to surrender into your stretch. Take another nice deep inhale. And exhale. Continuing to breathe at your own pace. Noticing the sensations in the lower body. Beautiful. We'll begin to windshield wiper the legs, one side and the other few times should feel amazing after our bound angle pose. And that's it, my friends. We are going to move into our Shavasana, bringing our right foot to the right corner of the mat, our left foot to the left corner. We'll release the hands with the palms facing up towards the sky, taking a nice Deep inhale here, breathing in through the feet, up through the legs, 
up through the torso, through the arms, through the crown of the head. As we exhale, we release the weight of our body into our mat. Take another nice deep inhale. And as we exhale, we'll let go completely. Finding our natural breath here. Taking a moment to enjoy our Shavasana. Slowly begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Maybe you roll your ankles in one direction and the other. And then we'll choose whichever side feels good today. Turning on to that side, using the lower arm as a pillow. Taking a moment to reflect on our practice. Noticing how we feel, how our lower body feels, noticing if we've been able to let go of any of that tension or stress, soreness, or even the emotional tension we've been carrying in the hips. And then take a moment to extend gratitude to yourself for coming to the mat today and taking this time to do something good for you and your body beautiful thing. Keeping the eyes closed or the gaze lowered, slowly begin to bring yourself up to a nice, comfortable seated position, any seated position. Once you've found your seat, we'll take a nice deep inhale as we bring the arms up and overhead, the hands meet in prayer. And then we'll exhale the hands to heart center. Open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for lower body stretch yoga. My lower body feels amazing right now. I have another yoga class to go to after this, but I am sure it will be lovely because I am already nice and relaxed and stretched. I hope to see you on the mat again soon. As always, from my heart to yours.